Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Does a widow have to pay capital gains tax? Capital gains tax is a tax on the profit from the sale of an asset. When a spouse passes away, the surviving spouse may inherit their property. The tax implications depend on several factors. One important factor is the step-up in basis rule. This rule adjusts the value of the inherited property to its fair market value at the time of the deceased spouse's death. This can significantly reduce the capital gains tax liability when the property is sold. For example, if the deceased spouse bought the property for $100,000 and its value at the time of their death was $300,000, the basis is stepped up to $300,000. If the widow sells the property for $350,000, the capital gain is only $50,000, not $250,000. NN, however, tax laws vary by state, and there may be additional considerations. It is important to consult with a tax professional to understand specific obligations. There are also exemptions and exclusions that may apply. The IRS allows a primary residence exclusion, which can exempt up to $250,000 of capital gains for single filers, this exclusion can be up to $500,000 for married couples filing jointly. Denen widows may qualify for this exclusion if they meet certain conditions. These conditions include having lived in the home for at least two of the last five years. Understanding these rules can help widows make informed decisions about their financial future. N. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.